Number 1. Search how to come up with video ideas and click on a video. Well, it looks like you've already completed that step, but if you're struggling to come up with video ideas, then you need help. And that's what this video's for. And the internet in general. When it comes to stop motion or animation, there comes a time whenever we just struggle to come up with any new ideas. This is especially a problem within the stickbot community. With just a couple of stickbots, there's pretty much infinite possibilities for stuff they can do. However, it can feel a bit jarring with so many possibilities. So I can't tell you exactly what to make. I can give you some ways to come up with video ideas. Try some of these ways out for yourself, and you'll be coming up with video ideas faster than a Mario speedrunning Mario 64. Number 2. Use another object. This is one Kraken mentioned on the Stickbot Summer Show, but this seriously is one of the best ways to come up with video ideas. And it's really quite simple. All you have to do is walk around, look for an object, and then say, that'll make a good video. Finding something for your Stickbots to interact with might just be what you need in order to come up with a new idea. You've got unlimited possibilities for coming up with videos this way. A balloon? Bam! That's a video. Some fireworks? Bam! You got a video. A bowling set from Gabby Town? Bam! Most successful video. A cat? Bam! Cinematic disaster. A shoe? Bam! Least successful video. Okay, well not everything works. But it's pretty much all down to execution. Take these gummies for example. Are they alive? Is it just a regular object? And if it's a regular object, what does Stickbot do with it? Well, he eats it obviously. But what happens after he eats it? Does he go nuts with sugar? Or does he fall asleep? Think about the who, the what, the where, the how, and the when of your object. And finally, if you can't find any good objects to use at home, try looking at other places. I recommend Five Below, Gaddy Town, maybe Chuck E. Cheese, pretty much anywhere you can buy stuff. Number three, holiday videos. Ho ho ho, can you hear what I hear? It's the sound of you realizing that Christmas is only three months away what? and that a full year has Ow. already gone by. Making a video for an upcoming holiday is a great way to come up with some quick video ideas. Since all holidays have different traditions and things you do that are already set in stone. You got Christmas with your Santa, presents, and family. You got summer with barbecue, water, and hot weather conditions. And you got Halloween with costumes, candy, and cavities. Each holiday has their own different traits that you can use to base your video around. Although one thing I noticed about holiday videos is that they tend to get less views than other videos. This is likely because after the holiday your video was based on is over, people are less likely to watch that video again after the holiday is over. It's like if you were to listen to Christmas music in the middle of July. So I highly recommend uploading your holiday videos a couple of days before the holiday actually happens. But another good way to make holiday videos is to base them on national holidays. You can take a scroll at this month's national day calendar and you'll find tons of national days that'll give you ideas for what to make next. And you don't necessarily have to make the video for the national day it's based off. You can just use whatever the national day is based off of. So for example, for National Sports Day, you can make a sports video. For National Farmers Day, make a video about Stickbot's farming. For National Body Language Day, So using national days is a good way to come up with ideas for videos, and because they're not necessarily real holidays, your video's performance will do just as well as the others. Number 4. Trend videos. So let's say something new pops up, and a group of people discover that new thing, and they like it. So then they share that new thing with other people, and those other people see that new thing, and then they say, this is pretty good. So then that same process repeats itself over and over again, and multiple new people get exposed to this new thing. And so now, that new thing is a trend, and you see it everywhere. At least, I think that's how trends work, I'm not a trend enthusiast. The internet is a constantly changing place. There's always a new meme, or new trend, or new game that everyone's talking about, and so once you find the trend that's just right for you, it's time to hop on that bandwagon and become a complete sellout. Look, there's nothing wrong with making videos after trends. You can make whatever you want. And honestly, if anything, it might be beneficial to make a trend video because it'll pull in new viewers to your channel. And if you pick the right trend, you'll get some of those sweet, sweet views. But you ultimately do not want to become a trend chaser that only makes videos based on whatever is popular at the moment. So it's very important that you have some originality. Like, what if I made the rescue helicopter meme, but instead of Lego, I use stickbots instead? 
Another thing you should know when making trend videos is that because they're trends, they will eventually die. So although you could get a ton of views from one trendy video, once that trend dies out, your video may or may not continue to make more views. Which is why it's super important to future-proof your videos so that people will watch them even in the year 2030. Let's look at an example of future-proofing a video by looking at Walrus's stick cart. This video was released during the time of Mario Kart Tour's release, which was a mobile game that everyone was really talking about at the time. However, this isn't specifically a Mario Kart Tour video. It's kind of just a regular Mario Kart video. Walrus capitalized on the Mario Kart Tour popularity by making a Mario Kart video. So at the time of its release, this video could have just been seen as a Mario Kart Tour video. But now that Mario Kart Tour is no longer popular, if you were to watch this video now, you'd probably just think this is a regular Mario Kart video. And so now, you'll probably want to go watch that video because it's future-proofed. One last thing about trendy videos is that companies and brands are not allowed to make them. I'm sorry, that's, that's just how it works. I don't make the rules. Number five, using your sets. I'm definitely not the best with sets, but what I do know is that they can take a long time to make. Sometimes it'll take longer to build your sets than it will to edit and animate your video. And if you're like me, you'll end up spending days working on something for a video when it only appears for less than a minute. And a lot of the times that proper set was specific to that video, so you may never use it again. Luckily, future proofing comes in handy again, because once you build a set, you've pretty much got that set forever, and you can use it as many times as you need to. So this is why it's important that when you build your sets, that they have lots of details and other little things that could be used for a future video. Take this playground set for instance. I only made it for a dumb gag for one video, but then I realized I put a lot of stuff in here, and I could use some of this stuff for other videos. It's got a seesaw and a sandbox. Could these be used for other videos? What about this tree? Could that be used for anything? You see, it's all about making the most out of your sets to compensate for the time it took to make those sets. Efficiency! Using this one set, I was able to make four videos, and this set doesn't even exist anymore. In fact, this hand, it's not even my real hand. Don't trust anyone! So check your old sets to see if you could get a video or two out of them, and make some new sets with multiple videos in mind. Number 6. Play with your stickbots. What? Playing with your stickbots to come up with video ideas? What a concept! In fact, believe it or not, I think stickbots are actually toys? What? Playing with stickbots is like stop motion, but without the animation. But you can use this to your advantage to come up with stories and video ideas in real time. So throw in some stickbots you want to use, some weapons and props, and a couple of other toys if you want, and go nuts! What's that? You don't know how to play with your stickbots? Well, too bad, because your future kids are going to want to play with you, so you better start practicing now. Learn how to do some voice impressions for the characters while you're at it. And most importantly, have fun. Hand her over, Orange. She belongs to me. Never! Fine. If you do not want to give me her, then we shall fight for her. Really? Hasn't this trope been done to death already? Oh, it has, Orange. But the people will eat it up anyways. Now enough talk. Let us fight. Hiya! Ha! Ha ha ha! You are weak. Ugh. Son, always remember. Trust your instincts. I may be weak, but I've got one surprise left for you. Bang! Oh! I won! Oh, thank you for saving me, my hero! And then they kissed. Number seven, take breaks. Another reason you could be running out of ideas is because you might be overworking yourself. Maybe you've been making videos for a couple of months now, but you're starting to feel demotivated to make more videos and you have no ideas for new videos. Your creative juices are all juiced out. So in order to fill those juices back up again, you gotta recharge by taking a break. You're not necessarily quitting. You're just taking a break from all the hard work you've been doing. After all, we're only human. So it's important that we take time for ourselves and take breaks once in a while. I recommend taking breaks from anywhere between one week or three months. And eventually, your creative juices and motivation will return. Number eight, ask for ideas. Wow, you've made it this far and you still don't have any ideas? Uh, well, there's only one choice now. You're desperate and you need ideas, so it's time to ask someone else if they have an idea instead. I've done this a couple of times myself. 
where I ask my subscribers if they have any video ideas I can use, and if I think it's good enough, I'll turn it into a video. Now, depending on your subscriber count, you may not get a lot of ideas from others. So if that's the case, feel free to ask people in the comments down below to give you some ideas. I recommend asking people for video ideas by commenting like this. What can I do with a red, orange, and blue stick bot? Or what can I do with a castle set, a horse, and a fork? Setting some restrictions will make it easier for you and fun for others to give you ideas. So if you need ideas, comment down below. And if you don't need ideas, help other people come up with ideas. Number 9. Ideas Book So you've made it this far, and hopefully you got a good idea on how to get some ideas. But now you've got too many ideas, and you don't know how to keep track of them all. Well, that's where the Ideas Book comes in. Simply take an empty book or notebook or whatever, and start putting all your ideas in it. I like to write my ideas down by writing the titles of those ideas and then putting a checkbox next to it. The checkbox can be useful for checking off videos that you've already made. You could also write an in-depth description that gives you more details about the video idea. It's important to write down every video idea that you get in this book, because sometimes you might forget. But if you forget about making a video that's in this book, that's kind of a good thing, because if you keep writing down your ideas in this book, if you ever run out of ideas, you can easily come back to this book to get some more. So thanks to this book, you'll never run out of ideas again! So those were 9 ways to come up with video ideas. This video took a couple of days to make, so I really hope you guys use it and that it'll help you come up with new video ideas. Speaking of which, don't forget to head down to the comment section below, and if you see someone who needs an idea, try to help them out. And if you want to ask for some ideas, don't forget to add some restrictions, so that way it's easier for others. I want this video to serve as sort of a hub for people to come up with new ideas together, so please be kind and help each other out. Anyways, that's all from me, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I'll see you next time. Ugh, my throat is dying.